What is up y'all? Ikata Kevin. This video is going to be a shout out video to the channel called Hengist or Hengist uh, Kane. Now this channel deserves a shout out because it, um, it's about giving devotion to the gods. It's about giving devotion to specifically the Anglo-Saxon gods and Germanic gods as well. Okay? And from these videos I've seen and I've watched on, uh, some of them are on Facebook as well, um, they're done in a very sincere way. I mean, of course, they're, um, they're all, in the video, in his videos, uh, there, there are some innovations and that, uh, that's okay too. Uh, the bottom line being that the whole point of these innovations or what have you, um, they are ways of giving devotion, whether that's in the form of a particular deity or more than one deity. But the main thing behind it is that you have devotion. You have this sense of humility, or dare I say, surrender. Or to use the Sanskrit, bhakti. Having that devotion, you know, and having, you know, and it's a personal relationship between man and deity. And it's so nice to see a channel that actually is, you know, uh, being quite open about this. And you know, just just being sincere and whatnot. And what I like about this channel is that it, it you can just tell it's it, it is a sincere attempt to you know um, to you know uh, you know revive, if you will, a spirituality, a revive devotion to Anglo-Saxon gods or what have you, whatnot. And it's <clears throat> and it's so nice to see that. You know, someone's so open about it, and open as in the context of like filming it and putting it onto YouTube and whatnot. Because a lot of people, a lot of people, they don't know what to do. You know, uh, you have people that, um, unfortunately, uh, they get into the stuff uh, and thinking, oh, a deity is just a, an energy. It's just a some kind of entity or anything but a metaphysical personality to whom we give our respectful obeisances to. So in a nutshell, a deity is a metaphysical personality. A deity is a metaphysical personality, okay? Uh, I have to say this, I have to stress this because uh, there are a lot of people out there that you know, they, t they, tr they want to make it everything but a metaphysical personality of what, of what a deity is. And this is not my opinion. This is the view that the ancient world ha had. You, know, you can just look at Greco-Roman sources like uh, Sallust, uh, his book on, on, the on the gods on the world, as well as looking at Vedic sources. All right. Um, the you know looking you know reading Vedic scriptures and whatnot they they'll go in a great depth about metaphysics and whatnot and and uh, and explain explaining it okay so anyway having that said um, so yeah that, that's uh, so Hengist Cain uh, uh, it's nice to see a channel like this uh, because. You know, people need examples to learn from. You know, like, okay, uh, I'm a, I'm a devotee of uh, this or that god. Uh, what do I do, right? And uh, and I have to say that um, Hengist Cain or Hengist Cain is on the right track. Is definitely on the right track, and um, it's so be it's so beautiful to see that. Because thing is, I'll, everyone's seeking for that one thing. And once we have it, ah, bliss, you know, and, um, you know, it's nice to see uh, people um, exploring and whatnot and what have you and then finding something, oh, this is it. So it's nice to see devotion flourish and whatnot and, um, and this sort of thing should be encouraged, you know. And uh, Heng Hengis Kane, Hengis Kane. Uh, this video is going to be a bit a bit long, uh, but it's for good reason though, because I want to defend what you're doing. I want to encourage 
you to keep doing what you're doing as well as anyone else who wants to do what you're doing all right because uh, you're, you're providing a good example and to quote the Bhagavad Gita um, I forget which chapter this is in but there's a quote saying uh, whatever action a great man does common men will follow whatever standards he puts by exemplary acts all the world pursues so by your example you know it'll 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 inspire others you know uh, to give devotion to the gods you know you know so that's that, that that's good of itself and uh, if anyone tells you hey man uh, oh this is LARPing no it's not LARPing LARPing is pretend LARPing is it, what it stands for for those who don't know live action role-playing this is not role-playing we're not playing games here this is the real thing this is the real thing okay and uh, uh, and other things I need to dispel right away um, I can imagine some atheist uh, who doesn't understand this stuff and, and think oh look at these people they, they they're, they're, they're worshiping uh, they're you know it doesn't make sense to me well <laughs> um, yeah it may not make sense to you but it does to them because thing is you know again I, I say this word metaphysical uh, you know meta meaning beyond and whatnot and beyond physical so this is a deity going back to that is is that which is beyond the sense metaphysical meaning beyond the senses because because thing is as explained by my guru whose name is Sri Dharma Pravartika Acharya he, he says that um, that uh, the divine is everywhere but our minds are not this is why we need um, statues are also are, are known in, in Sanskrit as murtis murtis uh, if you will uh, they're not idols they are not idols they are not idols they are not idols because idols uh, that word of itself kind of goes back to like uh, Abrahamism especially Christianity you know the, the Bible the, the Ten Commandments uh, the first commandment thou shall not have any false gods uh, before me or what have you and uh, and the use of uh, I, uh, <laughs> in their view idols or what have you is considered a really big big bad thing you know because uh, the god of uh, Abrahamism uh, Christianity is a jealous god so anyway so speaking to the people that don't understand what I'm what I'm trying to say here or trying to explain here the uh, the statue is not the deity itself. It is a representation of the deity. Okay, in question, just as a, a family portrait is a representation of your family, just as a flag on a pole represents a country. You know, uh, a murti, a, a statue, is the same thing but for a deity. Okay, this is how this is meant to be understood. And, um, you know, I, I have to say this because uh, I, I imagine that there are a lot of people out there that, that won't understand this and, and uh, it, it needs to be explained in a way that they can understand it. And the thing is, too, not everyone is articulate about this stuff. Not everyone is, has the ability, well, I mean, uh, or they haven't acquired, acquired the ability to explain this stuff in a way that makes sense and whatnot, because because um, it's not easy to explain this stuff, you know, for, especially for someone who's new to this stuff and is quite fascinated by it. So uh, the idea behind giving devotion to deities or what have you is, is to cultivate a personal relationship, to cultivate humility and all these good good things, what have you. And we need of images, we need of um, statues, if you will of the deities in question, uh, you know, to, uh, um, you know, allow our senses to focus on to something, you know, I, I hope that makes sense, but anyway, 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 uh, Hengis Kane, uh, keep it up, uh, I really like to see what you're, uh, I like seeing what you're doing, keep it up, and I hope to see more, alright everyone, uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to his channel, alright, bye-bye.